Hi everyone, or should I say, oi gente! Today I'm gonna design a really cool Brazilian-inspired typographic poster in Kittle. Because I'm Brazilian, and Brazilian design and Brazilian art movements made me fall in love with graphic design. And I think Brazilian design is super cool and it's fun! If you haven't signed up for Kittle, use the link in the description and sign up for free so we can create Brazilian designs together. Okay, so before we start, let's take a look at some Brazilian design references. At first glance, we have those supermarket signage inspired design. This is very characteristic. The colors are very, I mean, we see this in every supermarket in Brazil. And now pay attention to the colors of very bright tones and a lot of going on for sure. Definitely not minimalistic. This is beautiful. I mean, the colors, the illustration, amazing. It, this is adorable and it's about Brazilian literature. So there's some Brazilian slangs. Mine would be Egua for sure. I say it all the time. And today's poster is going to be inspired by this type of letter. I'm really fascinated by it. I'm from the north of Brazil, which is a very unique place. I mean, Brazil is really big and everywhere is different. But we live by the river and we have a lot of fishing boats. And the fishing boats usually have their names, the fishing boats' names, written in the boats with those kind of letters. Or those kind of letters, very Latino. It's like this. So it's just something so visually cool that I'm so used to seeing all the time that I became obsessed with it. So yeah, today's poster is going to be inspired by this type of Latino signage that it's so mundane and we see it everywhere and all the time and we're so used to it, but it's honestly so beautiful. Look at this, amazing, I love that. Okay, I have a thing for lettering and typography and I could stare at this for the whole day so let's wrap it up and start designing all right now that i already showed you some brazilian design inspo let's design our typographic poster i'm actually really excited to play around with the display fonts in kittle so i'm just gonna add my text and i'm gonna write it's brazil with s not brazil with c it's just a joke by the way i mean i know that countries have different names in different languages but what the phrase is trying to say is that we are brazil with us which is you know the brazil that we know brazilian culture for real and now what the foreigners think of us i think it's really important to not lose your identity in this big crazy world but at the same time embrace different cultures okay so i'm just choosing some fonts i chose play world which is kind of a marker font it reminds me a bit of the supermarket lettering i showed you earlier and i also picked adventure because it has that carnival lettering aesthetic that i see all the time in my hometown and we're gonna do something really cool with it let's not talk about the word not right now because i'm really confused about what font to use and i'm using tape flow for brazil with a z because you know we love that handmade feeling i know i know a lot of fonts mixed together but hey let's not think about rules today okay let's have fun, you know, it's the Brazilian way of designing. Now let's add some colors to our design. I'm gonna start with the word Brazil. If you go to the effect panel, we're gonna click block shadow and we're gonna add a shadow to our lettering. So yellow shadow because I want Brazil to have the colors of Brazil. It's gonna look super cool. Now let's alt and drag to duplicate that and decrease the offset and set it to the same color as the background. Now go back to the settings menu, go to text color, press this drop down menu and click gradient color. I'm doing a blue and green gradient, it's gonna look so amazing, the color of the Brazilian flag. I'm definitely not adding an outline stroke to this because I want it to look like it was handmade. I also added a bright red, almost orange tone to the design to kind of pop up some parts and it looks nice. And I decided to duplicate the text and create this shadow. I could have done that with the black shadow. Yes, it will look perfect actually, but I don't want this design to look perfect. I guess the thing I love the most about Brazilian design is that it looks human. If you compare it, for example, to a Scandinavian or a Swiss design, which I also love by the way, uh, most of the time it looks like it was made by a machine, while Brazilian design has this organic feeling that makes it look like it was made by a human being, even if it wasn't, and I love that. Okay, the typography is done. 
Let's add some elements to decorate our design now. I think abstract elements will look perfect. Okay, this is cool. Let's add this. And what else do we have here? Mm, you know, let's see abstract black. We have pretty cool organic elements here as well. Okay, I'm choosing those two. Hmm. Let's see. I like the chunkier one better. All right, as I said earlier, I was not satisfied with the word not. So I'm just right now in a bunch of different typography. Sometimes that's how I just choose typography, to be honest. I just try on a bunch of different things. Let's add some more decorative elements now. Kiro has this little African ornaments folder that if it's perfectly for Brazilian design as well, uh, I mean, we cannot forget the huge influence African culture has in our culture. And we're talking food, we're talking art, music, everything basically. So I'm just changing the colors to match the design's color, but even the colors are similar. So interesting. Now let's add some texture. I'm definitely 100% adding a wheat paste texture because I want it to look like it was glued to a wall. Okay, this looks pretty cool and a bit realistic. I like it. Now let's see how it looks like on mockups. Oh, nice. I guess we'll look cool as a mural as well. I like this. That's fancy. It's giving Brazilian household decoration. <laughs> I would definitely have this hanged on my wall. Just to announce that I'm Brazilian. In case you don't know, everyone knows. And that was our Brazilian inspired typographic poster. It was really simple actually, because I wanted to be inspired by signage and it's all about letters and colors and shapes. Honestly, if I could describe my culture, visually speaking, I would say that it is bright and busy and a bit crazy sometimes, but honestly, I love it. And I'm pretty sure that's why I'm not, you know, easily appealed by minimalist design. What do you guys think? Are you guys minimalist fans? Or do you guys like the Latino aesthetic I just showed you? Let us know in the comments. And if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Kiddo's channel for more design content. See you in the next video. Bye.